What's up? Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell up above for future uploads and check out the links posted in the description down below to support the channel. Thank you. So I've waited a couple of days to put this video together because I knew there would be more material to come and I said this would be absolutely hilarious to show people exactly how the media and the government work together in lockstep to manufacture a narrative. And what you are seeing here now in this video is how they manufacture a narrative. What you see here is an article from RTE that says department considering suspension of teacher career breaks. Now there's members there of Andal Aaron that are actually on career breaks to be doing what they're doing. There's been previous members of Andal Aaron that have been on career breaks to be doing what they are doing. They all know that it is a money earner and they all know then that they have the safety of a job to go back to. So this was never going to be a runner. But everybody that has been looking at this, including yours truly, has called this from very long ago that they were going to do something even more outrageous and hope that people wouldn't be as upset about it as they would be with regards to this. Now it's going to come as the language. What they decided to slip into this article here, for anybody that actually reads into these articles, a couple of paragraphs down, they said plans to attract students from more diverse backgrounds into teaching as a profession will also be advanced. Now that's the moment in time I said to myself, that's the narrative they want to go with. Because if you take a career break away from people, people are going to be very upset. Now, you look at, for example, what this lady here, Mary McCarthy, then goes on to say. And when I say lady, I use that term very loosely. This is an individual that regards herself as a leftist and is very excited for the female Taoiseach because that would prospectively be a woman. This is what these lefties do, by the way. Now, to use her own logic against her, over 80% of the teaching profession is female. Would it not make more sense to hire more men? Because clearly at this moment in time, there isn't enough people to fill the classrooms, is what you're saying. Maybe you need to be upping the amount of men that are in that profession. Because I don't know about you, but it doesn't seem like there's a worker crisis in the likes of electricians, carpenters, plumbers, and the rest of the building trade. It doesn't seem to be that way at all. So we've got this here from the independent.ie, and it says we should ditch teachers' Irish language requirement as it's just blocking diversity in our schools. What this is about, as you can quite clearly understand, is about putting foreigners in charge of our education system. If you don't believe me, these are the same type of moves that they made against Ongarda Siakana, and it hasn't worked out too well so far. What you've seen with those two previous articles are opinions that have gotten more and more to the heart of the matter, and what you see then in this article is the heart of the matter that they wanted to get to. They start out, this is the pattern, they start out by floating something out there that's going to be super contentious, but inside that article, they get to the heart of the matter where they want to go and hope that people gloss over it and don't notice it. But you'll start to notice it now from now on, I hope. And I know you will because an awful lot of people that follow this channel for a very long time, you've already started noticing these things. But what you see then is a subsequent article that backs up what they want to do, which is, eh, that Irish language might be a bit of a problem there, we're not interested in that. And then you see this one here. They try to gather public opinion and momentum against the Irish language. And what you are using here in this article is a government TD. Now just bear that in mind. That is an Irish government TD that is coming out and being like, yeah, maybe they're right. No, absolutely not. What other country would this be tolerated in? Would this be tolerated in Hungary? Would it be tolerated in Poland? Would it be tolerated in Nigeria? Would it be tolerated in China? Would it be tolerated in Japan? Absolutely not. But it's being tolerated here in this country. Because these people that are in charge of this place are no better than Oliver Cromwell. And these are the same type of moves that Oliver Cromwell made against this country. An awful lot of the problems that Ireland faces right here and right now is because of the legacy of what Oliver Cromwell did and left on this beautiful country of ours. The fact that we speak English as a majority instead of Irish has caused so many problems to this country. It's unbelievable. And the fact that they want to keep bashing Irish shows you that you should be studying and you should be more interested in Irish than ever before. Guess what's coming next, guys? They're going to go after the Gael Skulls. That's where they're going next because they understand exactly what's going on over there also. And that is panicking them and it is panicking them about how many people are interested in Gael Skulls because people are starting to look with their own two eyes around them and starting to notice a very big problem. 
a problem that wouldn't be happening if this country spoke Irish. We'll get into this article here. It says, Poll, should higher level leaving cert Irish be dropped as a requirement for primary teachers? Now, this isn't to let the likes of Paddy, who plays for the junior Bays, who likes a few points and is a bit of a wild lad, but he's a sound lad. This isn't to let the likes of him into teaching. A fella that mightn't have got the points, but great lad and is able to hold the attention and an absolute character. That's not who they're interested in. They want the likes of your Kalechis and your Xi Jinping's in there. That's the exact type of person they want in there. And they want them to be espousing all of the boy large mansions and other sort of woke nonsense into the classroom. This is exactly the type of person they're looking for. Now what happens is this. The urinal get embarrassed on their own pole, which is awesome to see. But what they do is this. They break her up into four instead of a yes, no answer. And indeed poll. They break her up into four. Why do they do this? They do this because they're not confident. They do it because they want to divide and conquer. Because they know that if this went down to a yes-no situation, the no's would overwhelmingly win. Now, even though they have tried to divide people, the no still overwhelmingly won. No, keep it as it is. 6,206. Yes, remove it entirely. 5,268. That's a massive problem. Don't remove it entirely, but loosen the rule a bit. 3,589. And don't know, 210. I mean, that might as well be the absentees of the vote. Absolute waste of a vote there. Unbelievable stuff. But that's the heart of the matter as to what's going on. Because now people are starting to realise. They're starting to get more patriotic. They're starting to get more nationalistic. They're starting to understand that people that are coming into this country, they have their own languages. They're speaking around them in their own languages. Yet this country has been told to bend over backwards for people from other lands whilst their own are out on the streets. And now they're coming out from an education system point of view people are starting to wake up to it now and what's interesting to me and a great shame upon Aidan or Reardon a man with an Irish name that is coming out and is supporting this nonsense instead of you know growing a pair and saying to people listen it's an 80% majority of females what's the problem guys well an awful lot of the problem is people want to be at home with kids that's fine what's the other problem uh, maternity leaves nobody wants to be taking a job for most of the year and not getting a full year and not getting paid throughout certain breaks and all of that these are the type of things that get regularly told to me these are the issues that are at hand instead they went with career breaks and went ah, that's not really a runner because we're on career breaks it never was let's just be honest about that and what they decided to do was mm, what do we do well, ultimately, guys, what we want to be doing is we want to be putting the foreigners in there because these are the people that are going to be giving us votes. That's what it's all about. It's as simple as that. Anyway, that's my opinion. There's some people that are out there that might say, oh, no, that's not right. That's not what they're trying to do. Okay, fair enough. Maybe show me otherwise and say to me, well, these are exactly the reasons why they are doing something like this. I would be more so inclined to not agree with you on that because I think it's quite clear as to what they are doing. Like I said earlier on, you wouldn't have other countries that would bend down like this at all. doesn't seem like there's an issue across in China. It doesn't seem like there's an issue across in Japan or Nigeria or Poland or Hungary or any of these other places. And just as an aside as well before anyone gets in here and says, well, you know, that's a bit unfair. I know people that go across to other countries, likes of Dubai and Australia. And I can tell you this. If I was Australian and I seen a paddy walking into the classroom and was going to teach me about Australian history, if I was sitting there on the other side of the table, I'd do nothing but laugh. And I'm sure if I was a parent there, I'd also do the same and say, sure, what are they doing? What are they talking about? And that's only history. That's not even talking about your language, which these people, if you're going to induct them into this profession, how are they going to teach that language? A language that they don't know. Now this is going to set up for something later on down the line by the way guys because this is what they do, it's all about the long game. They will try and eradicate Irish from the curriculum. They have steadily been trying to do it for the last number of years. They have been putting out opinion polls and slandering and defaming the Irish language in my opinion at the very least in articles and trying to get public opinion against the Irish language. It absolutely should not be that way. You should know your cupola fuckle. You should absolutely try as best you can. And what I will say to you is this. Keep an eye on the way these people report about Gwale schools very soon. Because they are going to go after them very soon. And they are going to go after them very much so in unison. And that's exactly what they do.
Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell up above for future uploads, and check out the links posted in the description down below as part of the channel. I'll talk to you later.